Hello everyone, um, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is uh, the first video I've ever made, but um, today I'm going to be showing you how to run Fallout 76 with uh, Linux using a program called Lutris, which is basically just a third-party program that uses Wine to run Windows programs, uh, in this case specifically games. Okay, so, um, first off you want to install Lutris, um, um, to do that you just want to go to the main website, uh, lutris.net, um, click on downloads, and it will tell you how to do it. It's pretty easy, um, you can basically just copy and paste the information if you need to in, um, a console, and there you go. So, okay, once it's installed, um, you're going to want to open it up, obviously. Okay, and there it is. Um, and on another note, I'm not going to install the game in Linux. Um, I don't even actually know if you can. Uh, so this is a case of me having it already installed on Windows, and I am just going to direct uh, Lutris to where it is on my Windows drive and run it from there. Um, I found that that is the easiest. Um, and, you know, getting it to run is pretty easy, but there was a big problem with once people got it running, uh, the colors were all messed up. Um, very red, and the graphics were not good. I will show you exactly what they mean, and I have a fix for that as well. So, okay. So, first off, you're going to click Game. You're going to click Add. And then we're going to want to give it a name, so we'll call it Fallout 76. And then you're going to select a runner. Um, you will want to select Wine. And you also want to click Install Runners. Okay, now in this case you need to scroll down. And then go to Manage Versions of Wine. Okay, we're going to want to install this one right here, which is TKG Protonified. Um, from what I have seen, uh, it's the one version that really works well for this game so far. So um, just go ahead and hit the check mark and it will install it. And then hit OK. Okay, and now we're going to go to Game Options. And now you will want to browse to the um, EXE which in my case is located on my Windows Drive in Program Files, the Launcher, Games, Fallout 76, and then Fallout 76 EXE. And then you're going to want to give it a wine prefix. Um, this will basically be a bottle which will hold all of the the wine files. You can pretty much put it anywhere. You can create a new folder. Uh, for me, I'm just going to put it in my documents folder. I would recommend creating a specific folder for it. Okay, and then we're going to click the runners option tab. And we're going to choose this right here, which is TKG Protonified. And we're going to e enable DXVK. And you can enable eSync and try it, but from what I have heard, it can cause issues. So right now I'm going to leave it disabled, but you can always come back in here, obviously, and mess with it. Um, if you want controller support, you want to check these boxes right here. Okay. And then everything else I believe should be good. So go ahead and save it. Okay. So now it's saved. And we're going to go ahead and try it. Right click it and hit play. Okay, so after we click play, it's going to want to install a few things. Go ahead and click install. Okay, and now the game is going to launch and it should work, but the graphics are going to be very weird and messed up.
Okay, you're going to want to sign into your account. And then hit play. Okay, so as you see, the graphics are very, very messed up. Um, very red. And yeah, you can't see anything. It's pretty bad. Okay, so we're going to fix that problem. So go ahead and close the game. Okay, so you're going to want to go to your wine prefix folder that we assigned earlier. Um, for me, it's in my document folder, which is going to be documents, fallout, and you're going to want to click drive C and then users and then your username and my documents and my games and fallout 76 okay so we're going to add a file to this which will fix the red problem okay so i made this file downloadable from my website or you which is in the description or you can make it yourself um basically create a file called fallout 76 custom.ini and we will open it up really quick to take a look at it this will just basically give it special options which will fix this problem i'm not entirely sure which one fixes it it could be any of them or it could be a mix of them i am not sure which one um so i would have to go through here and play with it to find out which one exactly uh, but i found this file on a website a russian website actually and it was suggested from someone who was trying to help a windows user with a similar issue i'm not really sure why they were experiencing um graphical issues on windows because it works perfectly for me but they were and they suggested changing these options so um that is what i did and it works so okay so create the file or download it and pop it in your Fallout 76 directory under My Games and save it and close. Okay, now that it's in there, we're gonna relaunch the game. And just for the record, I'm using an Xbox controller for this. Um, I just always prefer controllers and it works perfectly, so no problem there. there you go it is fixed the graphics look good it works well um you can see my dress if you want which is pretty rad i got that in the uh civil war museum which is up by the cemetery which is somewhere up here um yep right there that's a good place to go if you want to grab a some good items, some good guns, and uh, Civil War suit, Civil War dress, the top hat. Uh, but yep, there you, there you have it. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Um, I can help to walk you through it. Some people experience other issues, but it should be very basic. Um, you can also go to my website and see the instructions word for word, which should walk you through it. Okay, um, thanks for seeing my video. Click subscribe and whatnot. Peace.